Hey, I'm pulling up arrowroot. This is a uh, really cool relative of ginger and bananas and stuff like that. It's a, uh, you've ever heard of arrowroot flour or arrowroot biscuits? This is where it comes from. It's a very digestible starch and it's a very easy to grow plant. There's probably a lot more roots I left in there, but these are what the roots look like. Processing these things is a little bit of work. There's a lot of fiber in these roots. So what you have to do is hammer them, smash them out, and mix them with water and strain them. And then strain off the starch. Basically you just strain through all of the uh, shreds and all that kind of stuff and pour it into another container. And then the liquid off the top will clear after a day or so and you can just pour the starch off. But any one of these will grow into a new plant. And uh, they're kind of a nice way to store some carbohydrates in the ground without anybody knowing what in the world you have. Plus they're a very pretty tropical looking plant. They die down to the ground in the winter, which is why I'm pulling it out now. The plant was already falling over and looking kind of sad, but they spring up again in the spring and they look beautiful. And it's really, uh, it's just kind of a cool looking plant anyways, even if um, it's a little bit of work to eat, the uh, arrowroot is uh, its kind of cool. The arrowroots have this uh, kind of a papery rough exterior on them that you can just sort of peel off. And then you've got nice clean looking roots, and these are what we would smash up to get the starch out of. They don't really taste like all that much, but they're not that hard to strip down. Once you have them stripped, then you just have to have a way to smash them up and gather the starch. It's pretty. So if I want to start another one of these plants, all I gotta do is stick it in the ground and bury it right now in the uh, next season. We got worms in the ground here too. Next season, uh, in spring that'll pop up from the ground and it'll grow it'll make a nice clump of arrowroot right here and then when it dies down in the winter you can yank it harvest it or just let it keep growing it'll keep clumping outwards and you can pull it anytime you want to when it's dormant is the time to get all of these because they haven't awoken yet and put out new shoots real easy it doesn't seem to have any pest problems or issues whatsoever plus it's a uh, real pretty edible landscaping type plant whether or not you actually eat it is the question, but that's the arrow root. And I, I haven't tried actually attaching them to shafts and shooting them into a target yet, but it's on the list.